What is going on? My name is Ryan and today I have a tutorial on Shopify and importing products using a CSV. I have a ton of products and I need to add a bunch of tags as there is very few um, on the CSV that I got from my supplier to get all the products on my store in the first place. So real quick, basically what I did is I'm running through all these and looking for manufacturers so Bob, Bobcat Ransoms, uh, Bolins, all this kind of stuff right so I, I went through here and pulled out and I made a list and I just put it over here so I didn't have to keep looking over here but I am down to Snapper Keys and Yamaha so I'm gonna run through the last two on this list real quick and show you exactly what I'm doing here so What's going on is I have a fine formula and a found value. So in the first place, I exported this CSV out of Shopify. Just so you know, when you export a CSV out of Shopify and then import it back in, it'll, you know, if you made any changes, it'll update any changes. If there's no changes, then nothing happens and you're, you know, everything's just fine. So this is a great way to, to quickly alter, edit a lot of products in your store without using like the built-in Shopify um, editor, which can just get really, really time consuming. So I have a couple extra um, columns right here that I created. So in this column, I have an if um, function. So if, I don't really know why it says is number, but it has to say that, search. So this is the syntax, I'll put it in the description. But basically the value I'm changing as I'm going from manufacturer to manufacturer is this and this. And I'm always leaving this comma right here in the, in the quotes because that is how it needs to populate into this cell in the tag cell. So let me show you exactly how I'm doing this. So my first one is capper, <laughs> snapper uh, slash keys. So what I'm gonna do is I just got finished with this one and here are my results. So. I'm gonna type in snapper slash keys. So it's looking in C2, my description, um, yeah, basically the description of the product. So I'm trying to pull keywords out of the description and get them into tags. So snapper keys right there. So then I want it, if it finds snapper keys in that description cell, I want it to write snapper keys. <laughs> I, I don't really agree with the keys part, so I'm just going to put snapper right here. Snapper. Uh, I, I might as well. So I'm just going to put snapper keys. That's fine. Um, whatever. I'll just put quotes around it, try to make it a little different. Okay. So I get my formula in here. Enter. Okay. So now I got to go copy that formula and I'm going to take it from the top all the way down to the bottom and copy it into every cell. So I just scroll all the way down, uh, hold shift down, click the bottom cell, control V, boom. So now I have this, so I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna go back up to the top, click shift, select all these, copy. So I'm gonna come into the found value. So these are still in formula form, so I need to turn them into a value. So I click on the top, I come down to the bottom, you can see I'm doing this with almost 8,600. So boom, right click, one, two, three. That means paste as a value, boom. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna say sort, largest to smallest, expand the selection. Okay, so now they're all, at found them coming down from here. Okay, so basically I'm gonna insert a column right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit equal sign, click on this cell, because I'm adding it to my tag. So I wanna click my tags column first, ampersand, click my value, make sure you're clicking the value, and hit enter. So now I'm gonna copy this formula and bring it down until I see snapper keys stop over here on the left-hand columns. So it stops up here, boom. So I'm gonna control V, Okay, so now what happened is it put snapper keys onto whatever was here. So this had hardware, comma, so that, that's the delimitator. That's the, hey, this is a tag, comma, this is a new tag. So now we have 
hardware, comma, Briggs and Stratton, comma, snapper keys. That's what we want. We're trying to add that snapper keys to all these. So I come back up. I control C, copy these. I come over to my tags. I scroll down until it stops. I didn't realize there were so many snapper keys or I would have scrolled down in a different manner. But I will paste his values. Boom. So now we have them in our tags column as a value because when we upload it back to Shopify, it needs to be a value. It can't be a formula. So now I'll just delete this column out because I don't need it anymore. And I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to click on my first cell up here where my formula is. And I'm going, and now I'm trying to find Yamaha, the last one on the list. It's not actually my last one on, on my list. Unfortunately, I need to keep adding to that list. So I'm going to come right in here in between the quotes and Yamaha. So Yamaha, I don't believe this is case sensitive. And I'm pretty sure it's not because they're on all caps on the left or in the description column. So if you find Yamaha right in this cell, um, comma Yamaha. So let's just enter that. So it's not in this cell. That's why it's putting a zero. That's what this zero right here says. So if you don't find it, just put a zero. Okay, so we control C, copy that, click on my next cell, go down to the bottom, shift, control V. Okay, let's get them all, including that top cell. Boom, control C. Come over here to the bottom, click, hold shift, click, right click, paste as a value, click on the whole column, sort, largest, expand, yes, sort. Okay, so there's only a handful of Yamahas, so I need to insert my column right here. I do enter this cell and this cell, enter. So now we have that and the Yamaha. Boom. Come down here. Boom. Get them all. Bring them over here. Right click. Paste the value. Good to go. Delete. And keep on doing that for however many tags you want to add. So you just saw how easy this is. I just, I've been doing this for a couple hours and I've added all of these tags. So any tag that's not capitalized, I just added in the past roughly hour and a half or so. So that is how quickly it's going. And I mean, there's this a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, right? So like all these Briggs and Strattons, I added all these down here. So that's what I'm doing. And so right now I'm doing manufacturers. And then I need to go through and do different tire sizes, different blade sizes, because this is all the kind of stuff in my store. So, um, you know, it really doesn't matter where your products are or anything like that. If you need to add a bunch of tags, this is a great way to do it. And if, if you have, you know, add this tag, if that values in this other cell somewhere else, you know, you can streamline the process. I'm all about automation and doing things as fast as possible. And I would assume you are too, if you are selling on Shopify. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Keep making money.